Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Welcome to Times Online Interviews. Today we have Mr. Prashantan Padmanadan, Chief Financial Officer of Manchi Biscuits, Bangladesh. Welcome. Thank you. Could you please tell us why you wanted to venture into Bangladesh? Yeah, the main reason was in 2019 we incorporated in Bangladesh. In Sri Lanka, if you take Manchi, we are the market leaders. Mm -hmm. Okay, in not only in the biscuit category, in the chocolates, you all know the Ritzberry, Tiara cake, chocolate, and category, we are the market leader. At the same time, now we want to expand our businesses in other countries as well. We saw the potential in Bangladesh in terms of the population. Bangladesh population is under 60 million versus Sri Lanka population is 22 million. And it is almost eight to seven times bigger than the Sri Lanka market. Therefore, we saw the potential and the economy was growing as well in that time. Then we took a decision, we have to move to a different countries. At that time, we were started our business in India as well. And therefore, the next, the closest country where the culture and the economy, everything is almost same here. The people requirement is same. Therefore, we decided to move to Bangladesh in 2019, incorporated the commercials we started in 2014. How has your journey been from 2014 up until now? Up until COVID, we, are, we had been growing. Slowly, we were capturing the market. One of our prominent brand is Milkas. Milkas is slowly capturing the market. Then we faced a COVID. Then post-COVID, uh, we had to face lots of challenges in the market in terms of the price hikes, the depreciation of the taka against the dollar, and we are depending on the certain import items in terms of the raw materials. Therefore, post-COVID, our growth has slowed down, and again, we are recapturing the market. We are competing with the giants who have been in the market for the local companies who have been in the market for more than five to six decades. The main competitive advantage we have in Bangladesh is our products are considered as a, the premium quality products compared to the competitor products in the market. And we are growing, we are slowly capturing the market. Uh, how is your competition? If you take this market, the majority is going for the price. It's called the, the people go for a low value products. It's a very price sensitive market. Therefore, we also trying to give at the same price, like 5 taka, 10 taka product is uh, dominating the market basically in terms of the biscuits and the chocolates. And uh, other side, it's a niche market is the high value brand. We are trying to put that products out through the modern trade channel, but if you take the general trade channel, it's a 5 taka, 10 taka product. It's a very price sensitive market and we also trying to compete with our competitors with those product categories and we are coming up with new products to compete with our competitors at the moment. How do you see going forward? What are the things that you will be doing going forward? We are not in the hard dough category. Like in Sri Lanka, you can see there's a Mari biscuit and we have this cream cracker. Those are the main biscuit products in Sri Lanka. Now we will slowly move to the hard dough category. Currently we are in only in the soft dough category. If you take in Sri, uh, Bangladesh, there is no big play in terms of the chocolate. The chocolate market is dominating by or leading by the import brands like uh, Cadbury and uh, Ferro Rochers. And therefore now we have started our chocolate plant in Bangladesh and we are now producing Ritzberry. For the price what they are spending, it would be a good product. It's a locally manufactured Ritzberry. And that is also our second strategy, moving forward with the biscuit and we are trying to capture the market chocolates as well. Will Frankly. you be going for more factories in the future? Yes, our, depending on the, our growth and we have a plan when we see the potential to grow and we slowly expand our business in this country. It's like a gold mine compared to the size of this market in Sri Lanka and what we have done in Sri Lanka with those experience. Actually, we are trying to capture the market if 10% or 15% market share is bigger in terms of the country's population. And that is our target and we are moving forward with our strategy. Are there any more products like say uh, chips or anything else? Now for the moment we are focusing on the chocolate. We had a face the issue during the season. During the summer season, due to the high temperature, the chocolate starts to melt. Then for that we are coming up with a different type of chocolates like we have seen in Sri Lanka, chocolate balls like Smarties. Yeah. We are coming up with new products. Uh, in terms of to tackle the or handle the seasonal factor. Once we stabilized our 
market with biscuits in the chocolate we have a plan to move forward with the other products as well like it could be noodles it could be chips it could be a cake then once we stabilize these two categories and definitely we have a plan to move to the other categories as well uh, tell us about the confectionery industry if you take the biscuit market it is 10 taka and the 5 taka product market the 45 percentage of sales are coming from those those price range and if you take the chocolate industry i would say the more than 90 percentage market is captured by the import brands like cadbury ferro rocher that's why we saw the market potential for the low value chocolates that's why we started to produce if you take the the, the reach we have almost 1.7 million that's the estimate currently we have we have all together 1.7 million outlets will you be expanding to other countries from bangladesh yeah that is also we are working on it and we are looking for it and with the countries which have a trade agreements between bangladesh and other countries and if we can export it from bangladesh we are we are looking into that if you take bhutan nepal pakistan like even india because our transport cost the freight cost would be less we can do a road transport as well. We are very happy to see the tenacious spirit of Sri Lankan industries elsewhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.